Hi everyone, so I guess you could call this part three of those two videos that I posted on Sunday night. Um, I'm probably just, I should just stop saying it's part two or part three or this or that because I mean, it's a continued story. We've been channeling this energy group for at least a few weeks now. You know, there's, I do channel multiple energy groups on my channel. So some of the readings that I've been putting out are this energy group and some of them aren't. But just to recap really quick, and if you're in this energy group, I would go back and check those readings that I posted Sunday night. I would look at that. But the first one that I posted Sunday night, I was basically getting this energy of someone trying to trigger you. So this person really just wants love and you just want love too. It's like you, your inner child just wants that love. This person's inner child just wants that connection with you, that love, but they're going about getting it in all the wrong ways. So in the first video I did, I was getting this energy of this person that tried to trigger you. They wanted to get a reaction out of you. I feel like maybe they tried to make you jealous with other girls or other men, or they ignored you and played hard to get, and they were hoping that you would chase them, but you didn't chase them. And they weren't used to that. They're used to insecure, naive women. And the fact that you didn't chase them, it's, it's almost like they got worried about that. It's like they don't... They started worrying about how you view them. They don't want you to see them as toxic because I just, I feel like these games work on other women or they've worked on women in the past and they just assumed it would work on you too. But I feel like you got really turned off by these games and you just kind of moved away from, from that. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing it if you already watched that reading, but I'm just, I'm just for those that are, that are just tuning in, I just want to recap real quick and then I'm going to get into it. But yeah, in that first video I did Sunday night, it was about, you know, this person is, uh, they're just trying to trigger you. They're trying to get that reaction. They're trying to get you to chase them. They're trying to get you to fight for them. They're trying to get you to compete with other girls, but you didn't do those things. You pulled your energy back. You started moving on. You assumed that this person probably just doesn't like you back or that they're just not willing to express feelings. You, you kind of stopped having faith in this person and you stopped trusting them as much as you did in the past. Now, for some, the second reading that I did Sunday night, I know it's getting kind of complicated. The one about the betrayal may not apply to you. For some of you in this energy group, they realize that you're not a crazy bitch. They realize that you're not, you're not going to go off the, off the rails and, you know, send them the 30 text messages in a row when they ignore you, you're just going to move on. You're not going to, you're not going to play those games. And so now they're the ones that want to chase you because they're like, wait a minute. Like, I don't, I'm sorry. I played games. Like, I don't want to be toxic. Like I thought that was going to work on you. You know, they couldn't trigger you. Now they're wanting to pull you back in. And that second reading that I did on Sunday night that I posted, they're about half an hour apart. And the second reading I did, I got that this person might actually try to betray you in a much more intense way. Um, and that's a warning that you guys need. So if you're if you're resonating with that, you you should probably watch that video. It is kind of a long video. It's like 45, 50 minutes long, but it, it's important, you know? Um because for some, they're trying to sabotage something that you've been working towards, something that really makes you happy. Could be another love offer. It could be a new friendship. It could be like a career offer. <coughs> Sorry. It could be a number of things, but it's something that you've been working hard towards. It's something that you're very passionate about, very excited about. It's something that's destined for you. And they're trying to block that offer. Um... They're trying to block that offer because it's like they want to be all you need and they feel you moving away. So they're trying to stop you from moving away. They're trying to buy themselves time They're, You know, go back to that reading. There's there's a, a there's quite a few reasons why they were doing it. I'm not saying it's OK. I'm not saying it's justified, but there were a few reasons why they were doing it. But they were they're basically wanting love. They want love like this isn't a bad person. This person has a very they, this person has abandonment issues and they want love from you and they're just going about getting it in all the wrong ways. 
So if you're resonating with, resonating with this, I would almost pause this reading and just go watch those other ones, whatever ones you feel called to, and then come back to this one, because this is a continuation of that storyline. This is like the, the third part of that of, of that story. I mean, we're going to, like, like I said, there's not like part one or two or three. We're going to, it's, it's a continued story. We're going to get more into this energy group as time goes on. We've already been channeling it for a few weeks now or so, but um. Yeah, it's like they're begging for love. They're asking for love, but they're going about getting it in all the wrong ways. They're trying to pull you in, but they're actually pushing you away instead. And for some, I just feel this really big betrayal coming. It's like a tower moment. It is really going to hurt you, honestly. If you're in that energy group, I'm sorry to say it. If you are one of those people that's getting betrayed by this person, it's going to hurt. It's going to be hard. But it's actually an answer to your prayers. Um because you've been praying for this person to change their life. You've been praying for this person to get on a better path. And I'm just going to recap for just a minute and then I'm getting into the rest of the storyline. Just bear with me, guys. Sorry. I, there's just there's new people that are coming on that that haven't watched those readings. So just just bear with me, okay? Um It's an answer to your prayers because you've been praying for this person to get some help, to to make changes in their life, to pursue you, to be more emotional, more gentle, more vulnerable, to be in alignment with their soul, with their higher self more. And your prayers are being answered in a very chaotic way. Your prayers are being answered through this tower moment. The, the pain that they caused you, that they end up causing you, this betrayal is going to hurt them so much. Like it's going to, I mean, it's going to hurt you, but it, but seeing that pain in your eyes and they're going to have epiphanies after that, they're going to recognize that you really did love them, that you really did just want to be with them, that you really had good intentions, you know, they're going to realize it wasn't you versus them. It was them versus themselves. They did this to themselves. But seeing that pain and feeling, they're going to have to feel your pain. It's going to be part of this karmic cycle. They're going to have to see or feel. They're going to know about your pain that they caused you. And they're going to have so much self-hatred and so much anger towards themselves that it's actually going to be like a catalyst. Like it's going to... Um, it's going to get this person to change. It's going to get this person, the guilt is going to be so heavy and so deep that this person is just going to hate who they've become. And they're going to ask themselves the deep questions like, when did I, when did I get like this? Like, how do I change this? I don't want to be this person, you know, and they might even go on one of those like apology tours where they apologize to you and other people in their lives as well. But, but it's like, this is this tower moment, this betrayal is the answer to your prayers. This is what's needed to force this person to change. The pain that they cause you is going to make them hate themselves so much. It's going to make them feel so much guilt that they're, they're going to have no choice but to change. They're going to hate who they've become and they're going to do anything in their power to become a better person, which is what you asked for. Um... So let's get into the apology because I do feel, and, and for some, so for some of you, they're not going to betray you. For some of you, that first video was going to resonate where they've been trying to trigger you and make you jealous. And they already see that they've caused you pain and they're mature enough to just be like, okay, I don't want to, I want to change now. And they're, they're going to come forward with this apology now for others. You're honestly probably going to have to go through that, that second video, that whole, what we just talked about, that whole betrayal and there's much more information on in that video as well. So I would really check it out if this is for you. Um, but yeah, for some, it's like they're going to have to have to go through that cycle. They're going to have to really it, it's 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 like destiny. It's just going to have to happen to get this person to to be the person they need to be or, or to get them on the right path. Um So what comes after that? Because I do feel an apology coming. Tell me about that. Tell me what comes after that. The the self-hatred and the guilt and the betrayal. For some, they're already making these changes. Like they already see this in themselves. Like they don't need to betray you to see it. Like they've already done enough damage to you. You've, you've already kind of distanced yourself. And so the, it this isn't necessary. But for others, yeah, it's like this tower is going to be necessary for them. So Tell me about the apology. Tell me about what that, what the, or what the next, what their next steps, their next actions towards you look like. I 
I just really get this energy of like them having epiphanies. Like they, um, hold on. Like they're going to recognize that you were never the problem, that you weren't their enemy, that you weren't against them. You know, it's like they're not really taking accountability now, but I almost feel like they are going to start taking accountability where they're going to have this like realization that you were just responding to their energy. You know, you weren't trying to be bitchy or cold or play hard to get. It's like they were playing hard to get. They were being distant. They were playing games. And so you responded to the, to those games by being distant yourself. They're going to have this realization that all they would have had to do is just come forward and confess their feelings or just ask you out or just make some kind of effort towards you to get on a, on a, in a better place with you. And you would have reciprocated and you might still reciprocate even after what they've done. But it's like they're going to, they didn't realize you could love them. They, they didn't think anybody could love them. I'm seeing, I always get, cause I, I left once upon a time. Did I show you guys? I got the, um, the, the teacup from once upon a time. I know some of you guys watched that. I got that, that, um, tattooed on me recently. Sometimes the best teacup is chipped. And if you've been with me for a while, you know, sometimes I channel messages through songs, through, through movies, through TV series. It's like, I'll get a random image in my head and I'm seeing, I've seen this before in other readings too. I'm, I'm seeing that scene with Rumpelstiltskin and Belle where it's like she's trying to kiss him to break the curse because she just wants to be with him. Like her intentions are pure. She just wants them to be together. And he thinks it's some kind of trap and he gets angry at her and, and he locks her up and then he tells her to leave. And she's telling him, like, I just want to be with you. Like, I just genuinely love you. And he's like, no, no one could ever love me. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't believe her. Like she genuinely has pure intentions. And then he realizes like, you know, once she's gone that like, you know, once he's chased her out and told her to, to leave and never come back, that's when he recognizes like, oh shit, she really did love me. And I'm getting that energy, that vibe from this, this, this right here where it's, it's almost like they realize like when it's too late or when it's almost too late, like once they've chased you away and they've ignored you and they've betrayed you and hurt you that's when they have these epiphanies that like you actually really loved them like you weren't trying to use them or hurt them you weren't playing games like they're gonna have these realizations they're gonna really be in their head about it they're gonna they're gonna recognize these things tell me more about this Yeah, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna see you as their safe space. They're gonna they're gonna have like this newfound um respect and appreciation for you. I just feel them being in this like um I'm hearing that song Return to Innocence. I, I'm just seeing them being in this like six of cups, like this almost childlike, sweet, innocent, loving energy, like I mean, this comes after, though, this comes after a period of, like, maybe dark night of the soul or just a period of guilt, anger towards themselves, you know, self-hatred, beating themselves up about this, um, purging, shadow work, healing. It's like they're going to be in this darker energy for a while. They're going to have to sit with their thoughts and feelings for a while. But I just feel them, like, getting to that point where they're like, okay, I have to change. Um... I feel like there's going to be other tower moments in their life too. Like I feel like them betraying you is one of maybe at least like two or three other tower moments that come into their life as well at the same time. Like they could have legal problems. They could have like health problems or this, you know, this could be this person that's been doing drugs as well that we've been channeling someone doing uppers. Like I did a reading on that not too long ago. Um, so I feel like shit is going to hit the fan for this person all at once. Like, it's not just going to be with you. It's going to be like they betray you, but then they like spiral and there's other things like other relationships or like career or just other things that just do not go well for them. Um, and it has to happen that way for this person to really hit rock bottom. Like there's going to be things that just force this person to face themselves and 
be like, shit, I do not like who I've become. I, I have to make changes like something because I'm seeing like legal problems for some of them. Um, or like health issues or just things like things just really getting out of hand for them or like arguments where it's like they say something to someone and they're like, oh, my God, like, why did I like they fuck up really good friendships in their life? You know what I mean? It's like. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it's like things like that. It, it's like everything just going downhill for this person all at once, like all these tower moments just happening all at once um I'm seeing the end of fight club you you met me at a really strange time in my life <laughs> like the end scene where they're looking at all the the they're in like they're in that that high rise and they're watching all the the tower the buildings explode and whatnot um But yeah, I, I just feel like it's like this whole process that this person is going to have to go through. And you might even be guided to protect yourself or to even move on for a period of time while this person's going through it because they don't want this person to, um, this person has to hit rock bottom, you know, if they're choosing this path, if they're, if they're, if they're being stubborn and they're refusing to make changes that they know they need to make, then the divine is leading them down this path where they're going to have to hit rock bottom to make those changes. You know what I mean? Um, but it's like, they can't really use you as a crutch. Like they can't, they need to not be able to escape from that. They, they need to be in a position where they're at rock bottom, where they have to face themselves in the mirror, where they have to deal with their own traumas, where they have to deal with their own what they've done to people, their own karma, what they, what they've done to people, what they've said to people, they're going to have to be in a period of almost like isolation where they, um, I mean, they can still have friends. I'm not saying they have to be like isolated, but I just feel like this person's going to have like those days that they just are completely just by themselves, just in their head, thinking about things like, why did I get in the fight? Why did I pick a fight with that friend? What, why did I do that? Why did I, um, like looking at like childhood wounds, looking at things from their past, looking at their relationship patterns, looking at like why they've done the things that they've done, why they've been with the kind of people they've been with, whether it's friends or lovers, why they've, you know, the life decisions that have brought th that have brought them to this point, like they're going to really do some soul searching. And that's going to be one of those things where you can't like baby them through that. You know what I mean? And it's like, usually I don't say that. Usually I, usually I really believe that like people can like heal each other and support each other and, um, be there for each other through that. You know, I think that's like part of, of human connection is like having those deep connections where, you know, you can express your emotions honestly to each other, where you can go through that darkness together, where you can be open about your, your traumas or your past. Like you can be open about those things and help each other heal and just have that very like raw, emotional, passionate, just like human connection. Like I really believe in that. That's a good energy. Um, in this particular circumstance, I'm, I'm feeling more like this person is gonna, because they're not going to want to purge with you. You know what I mean? Like if they were to have you in their life, like they're not going to want to, um, like talk about the traumas, they're going to want an escape. They're going to want to put that on you. They're going to want to use you as a crutch. So that's, that's different than someone like it, it. It's a different energy than two people like expressing their emotions and just really helping each other heal. That's different than like, like having that connection, like having that like emotional depth with each other, having that openness and honesty and those deep conversations. That's a much different energy than someone trying to avoid those conversations and trying to just use you as a crutch and use you as an escape and not face those childhood traumas or not look at themselves in the mirror. You know what I mean? So it's almost like this person might be a little bit isolated for, even if it's only for a couple of weeks or so, <coughs> you know, it's kind of up to this person how long it takes, but, but, but yeah, it's like, they're going to have to face themselves. They're going to have to do some soul searching. Um, They're going to, they're not going to be allowed to escape that guilt 
you know, and I don't think they're going to want to escape that guilt, to be honest. I almost feel like this person's going to, they're going to feel your pain to such an extent where they're like, they're going to be like, I don't ever want to hurt someone like that again. Like, it's going to show them empathy. Like, they're going to, it's going to teach them empathy almost. It's going to teach them how to be, they're going to become more empathetic after that point. Um, show me the, the self-hatred thing, the whole guilt and self-hatred and whatever else. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's like a whole process that they're... They're going to realize they, they blocked themselves from happiness, from true love, from... <clears throat> from everything with the, the, um, with the, we have the, the magician and the five of pentacles with this, I'm actually getting, it's almost like they're going to realize that the world was their oyster. They had true love right in front of their face. They had abundance. They had a happiness. They had, they could have had it all and they chose to sabotage it. Instead, they're going to become aware of their own toxic patterns, their own behaviors. So this person, this person has to go through this process. This person has to go through this process. They can't try to escape from this process. And they're not, they're not going to try to escape. Like I said, I don't feel like they are. I feel like they're going to really, um, again, it's like that pain that they caused you is going to affect them on such a deep level that I just feel like they're not going to want to ever be that person again. So they're not going to try to escape it because they're not going to be in a selfish energy. They're not going to be thinking about themselves. They're going to be thinking about like their impact on the world. Like, how am I affecting people? Like, I just see them asking themselves like these really like deep philosophical questions, like this soul searching. And I, I do feel like it's a dark process. Like it's like up and down, like they're going to be really heavy in this, this guilt and this just emotional energy for quite a while. Um, or maybe not, maybe not even that long. It, it, it depends on them. But, uh, I almost see them like wanting to help you heal the way that you tried to help them heal. Or it's like you, like they want to give it a certain energy back to you that you gave to them. Like you gave them emotional support just by being yourself, like just by being this queen of cups. And I almost feel like they're going to want to give you that same effort and energy in return. It's like they didn't realize that you loved them. They didn't realize that you actually had their back. They didn't realize that you were real and genuine they treated you like an enemy. They treated you, it's like they really pushed you away and they really hurt you. Um, and I think once they, you know, as they go through that self-hatred, they're going to be thinking about the connection with you more and more. And they're going to be thinking about, you know, the, the support, the love that you gave them that they didn't recognize before. They didn't see it before. They didn't, they, they didn't realize that you were there the whole time like you were right in front of their face like just genuinely just trying to love them like they're gonna realize that and they're gonna want to support you back I, I feel like <clears throat> after this period of darkness I really feel like there's um like a psychic awakening or almost like a childlike energy but in a positive way that comes in for them like they're really they're just gonna have a lot more empathy they're gonna really um I, I keep hearing something about like, like the mark they leave on the world, like they're going to really want to, uh, like they're going to want to do something good, like charity work or something like, like something for like society. I just get, I just get this energy of them like wanting to, um, to like give back to the community or give back to people that have supported them. It's like, they're just going to have this whole new perspective. And so I feel like they're going to be apologizing to a lot of people. I feel like they're going to want to move towards you as well. Tell me more about that. Yeah, they're just going to recognize how they like kind of screwed people over and like how they 
like selfish decisions that they made that they were just so focused on their wish fulfillment that they didn't care who they hurt along the way. I also feel like they're going to um, think about what they want long term more like they're really going to mature over this. This process is going to really make them mature a lot where they're going to be like, I don't really want to fuck around with like all these different third parties. Like there's no like I was sneaky. There was no wish fulfillment there, you know. For some, this could be that they cheated on you or that they're, but they're thinking about cheating on you. Honestly, I hate to say it, but, you know, that could be what the betrayal is for some of you. Sorry. Deep down, I feel like they always wanted commitment. They always wanted true love, but they just, it's like they ended up like being sneaky with like, you know, third parties or just needing attention from multiple women at once or all these different things. But then I think they're just going to acknowledge that like... That deep down, like, they've always just wanted true love. And I think they might even look at, like, childhood wounds. Like, why? they're Like, they're going to think about those things. They're like, wait a minute. This is what I really want. Why do I keep sabotaging it and pushing it away? Why do I push my friends away? Why do I Why do I have these toxic addictions and, and these patterns? Like, like they're going to really look at themselves. Um they're going to look at these these abandonment wounds, like these childhood wounds, possibly for some. It could be childhood, past relationships, uh, friendships, all of the above. They're, they're going to look at why they're so afraid of love, of, of just being loved, of loving someone back. Like they want this so much, but they push it away so much at the same time. And they're going to ask themselves, like, like, why? Why do I do that? Like, why do I? <coughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry, guys. So this soul searching is really important and I feel like their spirit guides are going to help them through it. Um, and I feel like their spirit guides are going to show them like you can be a better person. You can have true love. You can have, you know, the abundance and the happiness that you want. Like you can be the person you want to be. You can have the life that you want to have. You can have the true love that you want to have. But you have to step up to the plate. You have to make these changes. You have to take accountability you have to be willing to be vulnerable and be real and just be authentic. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people around you. And you're going to get that honesty back. You know, like if you're just real and you're honest, you're genuine, you have that integrity, you might lose fake people. You might have fake people that like fall away that don't resonate with this new version of you. But you're going to manifest new people that do resonate with that, you know, like just living by that, living by that, um, that, that honesty, th those ideals, those higher ideals. Living by those higher ideals, it's like, you're going to manifest the right people that match that vibration, that match that energy, that, that resonate with, with that honesty. So I feel like this man's spirit guides are really going to lead him to, uh, to that transformation, to this death and rebirth process. And it is scary and uncomfortable. I mean, change is usually scary. It's, it's, it, it takes time to form new patterns, you know, new relationships, new friendships, new ways of being, new ways of thinking and feeling and just existing in the world. Like it, it's a process. But I feel like his spirit guides are going to help him stay devoted to that process. They're going to help him step out of his comfort zone, even when it's really uncomfortable and unfamiliar. It's like they're going to lead him through that. They're going to help him step out of that comfort zone and develop himself spiritually, maybe even like a meditative practice, meditative practices like psychic awakening kind of energy is what I'm feeling here. Um It's like they're really going to lead him through this process. And again, he might be kind of alone for a while. Like he might lose fake friends, but they're going to be replaced. It's just that state of like being in limbo. It's not a bad place to be necessarily. It's just you're in the middle of these changes. I'm hearing that song, The Middle by uh, Jimmy Eat World. Like it's only in your head you feel left out or looked down on. Um, 
it just takes some time. You're you're in the middle of the line. I haven't heard that song for a while, but I'm hearing that song. Uh, but it's like, yeah, it, it's like what you get in return is so worth it. Like, yeah, you're losing these fake toxic friends, but you're going to manifest your soul group. You're going to manifest people that are honest and authentic and really support you and have that same depth and that same passion and drive for life that you have. You know, like you're going to, it's like you're becoming this new per. This man is becoming this new person, and he's gonna manifest people that are, that are. He's not even. It's not even a new person. It's who he's always been. It's who he's been on a soul level. It's who he truly is, but he didn't have the the opportunity. Maybe like life experiences, childhood. He maybe he didn't have good role models growing up, or he had fake toxic shallow friends, so he never got the opportunity to explore that side of himself. But. I feel like I just feel like he's going to have that opportunity now. You know what I mean? Like he's going to get in touch with that side of himself. He's going to, it's like this new way of being, but it's, it's his soul. It's going to be new to him on like a conscious level. Like he might not be used to it completely, but it's who he truly is on a soul level deep down. It's who he's been in his past lives. And, and so as he becomes his true self, I think he's going to be manifesting these new friendships that support this person he's trying to be, this person he truly is. Um, I'm hearing that song. Now I'm hearing, you know, I'm channeling that song, I Don't Want to Be by uh, Gab. Who, who the fuck is that by? Gavin, it's not Gavin Rossdale. Gavin DeGraw? I don't know. Who is the guy that sang that song, um, If You Want to Be With Me? You have to follow through with everything you say, and all I really want is you. It's that guy. It's it's that it's that song. I don't know. Anyway, um, and we're gonna get into the apology. I'm sorry. I keep these. There's so much information that just keeps coming through that I keep picking up on. So I'm like, I'm trying to like shorten these readings for you guys. I don't know if you like that how long they are. Uh, there's just so much information that comes through. But anyway, it's like it's like yeah, he's gonna he's gonna really work on himself. He's going to really, he's going to have, it's like a really beautiful energy, I feel, because he's going to have like this new sense of empathy, like, because he's going to feel your pain telepathically, like he's going to, he's, he's going to feel the pain that he caused you. And it's, it's almost like it's going to give him this new empathy for people. And he's going to be like, I want to do better. I want to be better. I want to give back to people. You know, and I almost feel like, like with this new perspective, it's like, he's going to recognize that there's people from his past that were like trying to support him and love him and, and he treated them like the enemy and then these fake shallow people these toxic people he thought were like his his closest friends you know what I mean like he's gonna realize his subconscious patterns like I feel like he might even study psychology he might really start like looking into those things like into those subconscious patterns of like um how he just sabotaged himself how he pushed away the right people and opened up to the wrong people and maybe has been doing that for years and years possibly it could even stem from childhood like he's gonna look at those childhood patterns those childhood wounds <coughs> sorry guys I just see I it feels like such a good energy because I feel like such a gentle empathetic energy like it's it's almost like someone like being reborn, you know, where it's it's like he might have like a period where he's alone, where he has to cut out toxic people or shallow people, but he's going to be like, like, it's going to feel lonely, but he's going to feel excited about it because he's going to be like, well, like I'm making these changes. Like I'm, you know what I mean? Like he's becoming his true self. Like it's like a very spiritual energy, like a spiritual excitement in a way. You know what I mean? It's like his heart chakra is going to open. He's going to see life differently. He's going to have like this new perspective, I feel. Um, and he's really going to just evolve. Like he's he's really, he's going to finally recognize that he has support physically and spiritually. Like he has spirit guides around him. He may even start a spiritual practice or something like that or getting into spirituality or psychic work or, or energy work or something like that as well. But um, 
But yeah, it's really beautiful because he's like, he's, he's letting himself be a good person. In the past, I feel like he felt like he couldn't be a good person or he wasn't worthy of being a good person. But this whole tower moment he's going to go through is going to make him be like, no, I have to be a good person. I can be a good person. I have to change. I can't, I can't, he's, it's going to get so low, like that rock bottom where he's going to be like, I can't do that anymore. I can't be in that rock bottom energy anymore. So I get like a very empathetic, loving, gentle energy. Like he's really going to become the best version of himself. It's it's a really good energy I'm feeling from this person. Um, or from this energy group. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people on here. Uh, I do want to look into the apology. Oh my God, this is 35 minutes. Fuck. I did not mean to make this so long. I'm sorry, guys. I don't even know. Like, are there are there any of you on here that like actually watch all of these? Like, do you guys are you guys actually watching all these videos? I feel like I keep putting putting out these really long videos, and I'm like, oh my god, I need to learn how to shorten them. Just his his honesty and his commitment to being who he wants to be. It's like he's really gonna have like this newfound confidence. It's just a really beautiful energy. Like, it's just very gentle. It's very pure. Um, and right now, like, but like before the tower moment, he could have never imagined this for himself. But I feel like after it, it's like he's it, he's going to surprise himself in some really positive ways. It's like, um, I'm hearing that song, Vindicated. I forget who it's by. Like, I am flawed, but I am cleaning up so well. I am seeing in me now all the things you swore you saw yourself. So all those things that you like saw in him, it's like he's going to finally see those things in himself or he's going to recognize that spiritual support that he had from you. Even if you never said anything in the physical, he's just going to recognize that he had that support from you energetically. Um, I also feel, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to get into, I don't know if you guys even want to hear all this shit, but Okay, I'm 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 being drawn to something that someone told me years ago. And this was when I was probably like, I don't know, I was think I was probably like 20 or 21 or something, and I had just gotten out of a physically abusive relationship and I was in this energy of like like I was just angry. I was like not the person that I am now. I was just like fuck everyone. I hate men. Like everyone is shit. Like I was like I was very angry, you know, just I was just pissed. Um, and there's nothing wrong with being angry. Like it's, it's a normal human emotion, but anyway, <clears throat> I was talking to, to a friend of mine and this always stuck with me because I, I was like, I was like, why be a romantic? Cause I've always been a romantic and an idealist deep down. And this is for someone, I'm not just talking about myself. This is going to resonate for someone watching that someone needs to hear this. Okay. But, um, Anyway, like years and years and years ago, it's like I was talking to this friend. I'm like, I'm, you know, it's like I'm a romantic deep down. I'm an idolist deep down. But I was like kind of talking to him and I was like, but like, fuck everyone. Like I've been screwed over by too many people. Like I have I just got out of this abusive relationship. Like I forget what the conversation actually like, like how it went. But this is like the gist of it, you know. Um, but I'm like, why be romantic? I was, I was like in this very feisty, angry energy. I'm like, why even be romantic? People just take you for granted or they just want what they can't have or they just screw you over when you're too romantic and you're too idealistic. Like all they do is hurt you. Um, like, like what's the point of like, you know, being romantic for these, these stupid men or whatever. And my friend was like, it's not about them. It's about you. It has nothing. Romance is a higher level ideal, it, he, you know, he was like, it's not about whether this man didn't reciprocate it or whether this man abused you or whether this man, um, you know, just wanted what he couldn't have or took it for granted. You know, my friend was at the time was like, it is not about those emotionally unavailable men or these men that hurt you. It's not about them. It is about you. You are a romantic because that's who you are on a very deep core level. That is your ideal. That is that is one of your higher ideals. Being a romantic is who you are. It's an energy. There's like this energy of just of romance. That is who you are as a person. Don't don't let romance be tied to just one specific person or one 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 guy that fucks you over in the past. He's like, you know, romance is it's a part of you. It's it's a part of your personality. It's a part of who you are. It's not about those men. It's about you. So 
I'm putting it out there because I think someone needs to hear that. But I also kind of get this energy from this man that's making these changes where as he leaves these like fake shallow people behind, I, I feel like he's going to have that similar mentality where he's like, it's not about them. It's not about whether they did this or that. It's like, I'm going to have integrity and be honest because that's who I am. I don't give a shit if all these people lie to me. I don't give a shit if like most people fuck each other over because right now I think he's in that mentality of like kill or be killed world. Like everyone fucks everyone else over. It's part of how you get by in life. And I think he's going to get to this point where he's like, no, I'm going to be an honest person because it, it, it's not about them. It's about me. I don't care if they're lying. If they're lying, they're not for me. I'm going to, I'm going to move past them. I'm going to manifest people who are honest, who do have integrity, who do have loyalty. Like, I'm going to be an honest person for myself. Like, I'm going to be an honest person for myself because it's who I am. Because I almost feel like even in that period of, like, limbo when this man is making these changes and moving past these toxic, fake, shallow people... He's going to have like a deep spiritual support, like his spirit guides are going to be around him and he's going to feel that support. He's going to feel like this universal love, like he's going to feel like almost like this excitement, like I am my true self, you know, because it's like he's not going to be pushing his own soul away from him anymore. He feels a deep loneliness right now, no matter who he's around, he could be have all the friends in the world and he'll still feel alone. Because he doesn't have deep connections and because he's pushing his own soul away from him. He's not in touch with his higher self right now. He's not being his true self. So he has a very deep sense of loneliness because he's out of touch with himself. And so as he embraces his soul, as, he's, as he embraces these higher ideals and, and works towards, you know, being the man that he wants to be, He's going to feel less alone. Like even when there's no one around him, he's going to feel this sense of like peace and happiness because he's going to be like, like, like I'm being my true self now though. You know what I mean? Like he's going to feel content with himself. He's not going to be his own enemy anymore. He's going to be on the same page with himself. Like he's going to be in balance with himself. Does that make sense? Um, it's just a really beautiful spiritual energy. I wouldn't be surprised if this man also starts to open up to spiritual psychic abilities that he may not even realize that he has. And he's going to be really excited about that, too. There's a lot of good energy coming from this man. I feel really bad, though, because I've, like, gone on and on about that. And I told you guys this reading was going to be about the apology that I feel like he's going to give you. And I've just, like, channeled, like, everything except for that. Um... Is he going to, like, I, I feel like he's going to apologize to you. Is he going to apologize to you? Two of Swords, Page of Pentacles. He might test the waters first because he might be a little bit afraid that you're going to be closed off and you're going to hate him. He might feel like you're going to try to be strong, like you're going to see him as someone that's sneaky. Um... I feel like this could be you as well, where you're kind of a little bit cautious because of how much he hurt you. But I feel like deep down, you guys are actually wanting love with each other. Like you're wanting, even if it's just a deep friendship, a deep friendship, this could be a family member. This could be a romantic love. Like this could be, a, you know, take it as it resonates for you. But I feel like you're both wanting that. Um, I just feel like you're going to test the waters a little bit, which is, you know, it's understandable, but I almost feel like you're going to see the changes in this man. Like you're going to be really surprised. You're going to be like, like, you're going to feel his energy. You're going to be like, oh shit. Like you're not the same person. I remember you're not that same person that like has a dozen girls chasing him and has, you know, all these games and all these, all this bullshit. Like you're going to, you're going to see a change in him and you're going to be really pleasantly surprised. And I don't think it's even going to be something that he says, like it might be partially, but I think it's going to be more energy. Like you're going to be around him and you're not going to feel like right now you might feel this fear of him hurting you or you feel like he's like bullying you or you feel like he might be mean to you or you feel like like afraid to trust him like you you feel like scared that he's gonna like fuck you over or he's gonna betray you or hurt you like you you, you don't feel safe with him like you want to feel safe with him you know I feel like this woman really wants to feel safe with this man like you really want to uh 
to trust him to just to to be able to let your guard down with him like you're but you you don't you know what i mean like you like he's showing you not to trust him but you're wanting to trust him anyway but i feel like you're going to naturally trust him when these changes come into play like you're going to be around him and you're just going to feel like naturally safe with him like you're 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 going to sense the energy there's going to be like this light in his eyes like this this depth this um empathy in his eyes that you didn't fully see before or you saw it but you felt like it was buried and I feel like when you guys come into contact again, like it's not as buried, like you're going to, it's, it's going to like that light is going to have come to the surface more. Does that make sense? Like that light is going to have come to the surface more like that, that depth, that emotion isn't as buried. Like you can see it in his eyes. Like he's not, um, avoiding eye contact with you or like, there's not like that, that, that defensiveness in his eyes. You know what I mean? There's like an openness, like a light in his eyes that you're going to see. There's going to be an energy about him that you're going to feel. There's going to be, it's like, he's going to have this very deep spiritual peace. And I feel like you're going to feel that energy when you're around him. Tell me about this apology. Is he going to apologize to you though? Is he going to apologize like authentically? Like not, I think he might test the waters a little bit because he's going to be really afraid that you hate him. Um, and I think he's going to be in such a gentle, sensitive energy as he goes through this kind of death and rebirth process that he's going to be. But I think he's going to know that he needs to make things right with you, that he that he he's going to take accountability, you know. Tell me about this apology. <coughs> oh, my God, I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be like, you were a wish come true. Like you were like his dream girl or his dream, you know, his dream man or his dream woman. And he's going to be like, you know, this could be for like a gay couple too. Who's like, I feel like there, I feel like there's like a man watching this for another man. So that might resonate for someone as well. And that, that applies to all my readings. You know, there's no, there's no specific gender. This could be two men. This could be two women. It could be a man and a woman. Take it as it resonates. There's, there's never any specific gender here. But um, anyway, I, I feel like he's going to be like, you know, like you, you were too good to be true. Like you were my ideal person. I didn't understand how it could be that easy. And I don't know if he's going to word it like that, but it's going to, he's going to express that to you somehow. I feel he's going to be like, I caused conflict, but it's like, I didn't like, I sabotaged something really good here. He's like, he's going to, I just feel like this energy of like taking accountability where he's not going to be blaming you for it. He's going to be like, you know, like I, I, cause this loss myself I he might explain himself to you so when he explains himself to you don't don't feel like he's trying to make excuses for himself I don't think he's going to be trying to make excuses for himself I think that he's just going to be trying to explain where his head was at and where he was at mentally so keep that in mind if or when this apology comes in um, that like, if he's telling you, like, you know, I did this because of this, because of, you know, this childhood wound, or I did this because, um, you know, I misunderstood your energy and I thought you didn't like me back, or I thought that you were being cold and bitchy. And I, that's why I was like that. Or I, I thought like I misunderstood you or I misunderstood something you said. Um, and I see from your perspective now, it could be something like that where it's like, he's not trying to blame you, but, but he's, he's not, um, he's just explaining himself. What I'm, what I'm saying is I do feel like he is going to take accountability and, and just to understand if he explains his mentality, if he tries to tell you why he did the things that he did, don't just dismiss him. Like he really is trying to explain, he is trying to get on the same page with you so that you understand the way that his mind works. You know what I mean? Like he's, he just really, he wants you to have that clarity, that truth. Um, so be kind of patient with him, you know, and he may even express things that you did that upset him, but I don't think he's going to do it in like a blamey way. Like he's not going to be like, like, Oh, you did this and this and this, you know what I mean? It's going to be more of that energy of like, um, 
like I was hurt by this. It's, it's like he's going to be in a very vulnerable place, very gentle. So he might be like, you said this and this hurt me and I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have reacted the way I did, but this is this is why I did that. He may even say that he thought he was better off alone for a while. But I just I just keep hearing accountability. Like I get this overall energy of him like recognizing that he sabotaged his own happiness. And he wants to be more like he wants you both to be more gentle and vulnerable with each other. <clears throat> Tell me more about where this is going. Empress. Seven of Cups. He may even admit that he was afraid of you leaving him for another man. Or he was afraid that you had other options. Or that he was jealous. He may even say like, hey, I tried to make you jealous because I was jealous, you know, something like that. I just I mean, it's going to be different for everyone. Like you guys each have your own specific story, but I just really see him like being like just just taking accountability. I mean, I know like I keep saying accountability, but it's like important to like emphasize that word. It's like he's going to really it's like there's this gentleness and vulnerability in this conversation where it's like he's really kind of like acknowledging everything you know what I mean like putting it out on the table like like you you did this and not like in a blamey way again but like just you know this is what hurt me this is what upset me um I I like explaining himself to you explaining the mentality he was in letting you know that he is trying to change that he is he is making things right I I do feel like for most of you he is gonna actually say like I'm sorry for hurting you I feel like you guys are going to have victory together. I do feel like you're probably going to forgive this man, honestly, because you're going to see the changes again. You're not going to it's not you're not just going to take his word for it, but you're going to notice the difference like it, like intuitively. You may even do your own reading on it, but it's like you're going to feel the difference. It's like it feels like it's over, but then there's divine justice and there's like you go from Ten of Swords to Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like true love, abundance, family. It's like just being really close to this person, whether it's platonic or romantic, whatever you, whatever connection you guys want to have. It's like there is um, a reason for everything you guys are going through right now. You know what I mean? And it will bring you guys back stronger together. It looks like there is success. There is victory here. Victory you've both been waiting for. There is mutual love here. There is mutual support, mutual depth, mutual like loyalty, just mutual, like just a very deep, supportive, mutually supportive connection here is what I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I feel like you will end up forgiving him just because I feel like you may take it slow, but I just feel like you're going to sense these changes, you know, because energy, you know, you can't really fake energy too much. I mean, you can kind of try to block it a little bit, but it's like you're going to you're not just going to take his word for it. You're going to feel it in person. You know what I mean? Like you're going to see that light in his eyes. You're going to see that empathy in his eyes. You're going to feel that peace around him. You're going to feel like your body is like not as defensive around him anymore. Like your your body, like you feel safe around him, like you feel like there's just like this gentleness between the two of you, this very deep vulnerability between the two of you. It's like it's very sweet. It's it's very romantic. It's almost like a very um cuddly energy. Even if it's like platonic, it's it's like a very cuddly energy. Like you guys are gonna wanna like cuddle up and just spend the day in bed together, just like talking, like having deep, honest conversations and like just being real with each other. Um, like there's just this, this gentleness. I just keep getting the words. I keep getting the words, um, uh, accountability, gentleness, vulnerability. It's like, and it's, it's on both ends. It's, it's a mutual, it's like a mirrored energy. You're both going to want to be gentle and supportive of each other. You're both going to want to be vulnerable with each other. You're both going to want to be honest with each other. Um, it's, it's like very loving. It's a very beautiful energy I feel here, but, uh,
yeah, I just keep getting something about like being cuddly together too, like this very cuddly, sweet, loving energy. It's really good. It's really beautiful. Um, yeah, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel this man's empathy. You're going to feel, you're going to, again, you're going to see the changes. It's going to, it's going to be proven to you. You know what I mean? Like if this man, you're, I don't feel like you're going to have any doubts. Like if this is your storyline, you're not going to have any doubts that this man has really changed because you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the energy difference. You're going to, it's not just going to be his words. It's going to be his words, his actions, his behaviors, his energy, his, you're going to see it. You're going to, you're going to feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to hear it. Like it's going to be all around you. You know what I mean? Like there's going to be no way for you to doubt that this man has really changed. So I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please comment, like, share, subscribe. If it resonates, it helps to support the channel and helps me get these messages out there.